the muskrat. Beautiful, beautiful of western Colorado. Let's go catch some rainbows. There aren't any fish jumping right now, but that doesn't mean they're not in there. Colorado rainbow. Deadly on cloudy days. 30 year old steelhead lure. We're looking at a nice, nice fat 10, 12 inch rainbow. Perfect for the pan. That is what traditional American hunter is all about. Fly line backing is kind of useless if you're just fishing from 20 to 30 yards. That is going to be our stringer. Just tie a knot. Up two lines. And feed the bottom one. Kill. 
then at the top. That's how you make a stringer, folks. So we revive the fish a little bit. Keep down there moving. And then I take a log or a rock and get a good anchor. Leave the fish in the water. Let's catch another one. So when you start catching big fish, you gotta watch your, your knot. I just checked this one and it broke. Always check your, your knot or retie your fly after you nail a big one. Or heavy one, that fish was heavy. He wasn't very long, but he was heavy. There's more in there. So, uh, this rod and reel I'm using um, are not new. This reel is actually a beat up old Shakespeare 1040 or something. And uh, what's funny is a guy like me can go out there and catch fish or someone like you if you know how to catch fish. And in fly fishing it's all about the fly. And I got this fly that my great uncle gave me. It's a steelhead fly. I believe it's got a bucktail um, top and then it's yellow with some gold tinsel and then some a little bit of red um, fur as well. And it's a, they don't even have a, a name for this pattern anymore. If you know the name of that pattern, please comment below. This reel's probably 25 years old. Um, so I got this beat up old reel, this beat up old rod. That about does it uh, for my afternoon fishing for some Colorado rainbow trout. I was using a steelhead fly that my great uncle gave to me. He was the first man to give me a fly rod and he gave me this fly when he gave me the fly rod and those fish they just couldn't take it. Again this is a steelhead pattern and there's really no name for it anymore it's so old. Um, if you know the name of that exact pattern let me know. But anyway, that's dinner, and I'm Ryan with Traditional American Hunter, and thanks for watching. Be sure and check out all of our merchandise and download venison recipes at traditionalamericanhunter.com.